Once upon a time, there resided a young lad named Hiroshi, who harbored an insatiable curiosity for the mysteries of the world. Upon learning about the renowned Zen master dwelling atop the village's tallest hill, Hiroshi embarked on a quest to seek enlightenment. Scaling the hill, he discovered the Zen temple where the wise master lived. Filled with anticipation and optimism, Hiroshi approached the master and inquired, Master, how may I attain Zen? The serene old man met Hiroshi's fervor with a gentle smile and replied calmly. Ten years, Hiroshi's resolve continued to intensify. What if I put in even more effort, master? How quickly can I attain Zen? The master took a moment before responding, 20 years. Despite feeling perplexed, Hiroshi remained unwavering, asking, Master, if I commit myself completely to the practice, how long would it require? With a knowing gesture, the master answered, 30 years. Hiroshi felt his spirit deflate, unable to contain his confusion. Master, I'm puzzled. The harder I commit to working diligently, the more time it appears to consume. Why is that? The master gazed at Hiroshi with a tranquil smile. When your focus is solely on the end goal, you lose sight of the path, he explained softly. Hiroshi contemplated the master's words briefly, recognizing the profound wisdom they contained. He grasped that fixating only on the final outcome wouldn't bring him genuine comprehension. Rather, he must wholeheartedly accept the journey itself, including all its peaks and valleys. Picture yourself ascending a tall towering tree, the instructor elaborated. Your objective is to ascend to the peak and pluck the ripe succulent fruit awaiting you there. However, here's the catch. If you constantly gaze up at the fruit and dwell on how delectable it will be once in your grasp, you risk losing your balance and falling. Instead, concentrate on each step as you ascend. Be mindful of where you position your hands and feet. Experience the coarse bark beneath your fingertips and inhale the crisp air surrounding you. Embrace the journey of climbing, understanding that with every stride forward, you're edging closer to your destination. In life, it's akin to ascending a tree. If you fixate excessively on the ultimate reward, you could overlook the beauty of the journey itself. Whether you're acquiring new knowledge, honing a skill, or striving for a goal, always prioritize acknowledging the effort you invest throughout. Embrace the process, glean wisdom from it, and commemorate each progress step with joy. For at times, the genuine reward is found within the exertion itself. There resided a youthful man known as Ren. Since the instant he drew his initial breath, life had shown little mercy towards him. He entered the world amidst poverty, with his parents facing constant financial struggles, and challenges appeared to trail him like an ever-present shadow. Ren's early years were defined by a lack of the basic pleasures that many children enjoyed without a second thought. While other kids frolicked with toys and attended school, he labored alongside his parents in the fields, assisting them in scraping together a modest livelihood. As he aged, life refused to ease up. Instead, it presented more obstacles. Yet amidst the burdens he carried, Ren fostered a glimmer of hope. Frequently, his gaze would drift towards the far-off mountains, their peaks disappearing into the clouds. Those summits held a captivating allure, and Ren held on to the belief that within their rugged magnificence lay the solutions he yearned for. He craved something beyond the ceaseless pattern of pain that appeared to shape his life. One evening, as the sun adorned the sky in shades of orange and pink, Ren caught wind of murmurs about a venerable monk dwelling on a secluded mountain, quite a distance from his village. Rumor had it that this monk possessed extraordinary wisdom capable of bringing solace to even the most troubled hearts. To Ren, it felt like a calling, an indication that his life's course was on the brink of change. Without second thoughts, he made up his mind to set off on a quest to seek out this revered monk. His soul longed for resolutions to the haunting queries that had plagued him endlessly. Why did he endure such suffering? And was there an escape from this ceaseless anguish? Ren embarked on a challenging journey, he navigated through thick forests, crossed dangerous rivers, and scaled steep inclines. Following numerous days of unwavering determination, he eventually arrived at the base of the revered mountain where the knowledgeable monk dwelled. Atop the mountain stood an age-old monastery encircled by vibrant gardens and peaceful ponds. It served as a sanctuary of calmness and serenity. Upon entering the monastery, 
Wren was welcomed by the gentle chants of monks and the scent of incense. In the central courtyard, he encountered an elderly monk with a peaceful smile seated beneath a Bodhi tree. The monk's eyes exuded centuries-old wisdom, surrounded by an aura of profound inner tranquility. Hello, young wanderer, the monk greeted with a soft tone. I go by Master Ran. What has led you to this hallowed ground? Ren's heart swelled as he poured out his tale, his anguish, and his fervent quest for understanding. Master Ran was a compassionate listener, offering nods of acknowledgement throughout. Master Ran started spreading the wisdom of Siddhartha Gautama, later revered as the Buddha. He highlighted Siddhartha's journey from a lavish and privileged existence to one characterized by enlightenment and empathy. Master Ran elucidated that the essence of Buddha's teachings is rooted in the Four Noble Truths. These truths serve as a guiding light to lead you away from suffering, he stated. He proceeded to elaborate on each truth. The reality of suffering, the root cause of suffering, the end of suffering, and the way to end it. As Ren absorbed these profound insights, a spark of optimism lit up inside him. He understood that there was a solution to his pain, similar to how Siddhartha had discovered enlightenment. Following extensive learning and meditation with Master Ran's support, Ren started exploring introspection deeply. He reflected on the hardships in his life, the setbacks, the disappointments, and the unending quest for material riches. Ren began to understand how his attachments and cravings had contributed to his suffering. He came to see that his tireless pursuit of wealth had obscured the little pleasures of life, while dwelling on past regrets had ensnared him in a cycle of pain. Years went by, and Ren's influence on his community was significant. Numerous villagers embraced his teachings, discovering comfort and direction in their lives. Ren's village, previously plagued by poverty and hopelessness, started to flourish, not in terms of material possessions, but through the richness of human bonds, compassion, and inner harmony. Ren had transformed into a symbol of optimism. He persisted in leading a modest existence, looking after the fields and gardens, practicing daily meditation beneath the Bodhi tree, and imparting his insights to anyone in need. Converting his suffering into strength, he inspired those in his vicinity. In his later years, while observing the sun dip below the mountains, Ren pondered his life's path. Transitioning from deep suffering to a profound sense of purpose, he discovered that pain could spark personal growth and change. He realized that genuine strength came from self-awareness and understanding the world around him. Master Ran had departed this world, yet his wisdom continued to thrive through Ren and the villagers who followed the path of enlightenment across generations. Ren's journey exemplified the timeless teachings of Buddha, transforming his suffering into strength and inspiring a legendary tale that resonated within his village and beyond. It was a poignant reminder that even in the depths of suffering, there existed a route to freedom, to enlightenment, and to transforming one's pain into strength. Ultimately, Ren's life stood as a testament to the enduring wisdom of Buddha, illuminating the journey from suffering to enlightenment. It served as a gentle nudge that the ability to change one's life was close at hand, ready to be uncovered by those brave enough to set out on the path of self-discovery and inner harmony. As the stars twinkled into view over the mountains, Ren grinned, reassured that his life had been a rewarding journey and confident that his impact would motivate others to transform their struggles into strength, mirroring his own transformation.